Hi, I'd love to talk to you about the Package Kitchen, so please step into the kitchen. The Package Kitchen is a site that I created at package-kitchen.meteor.com. On this site, if you have an idea, uh, a seed of an idea of some functionality that you want to add to your application, you can start out by putting your basic information about it, pasting the code here, and it will reactively uh, create a, a rendition of a series of files that describe your package. So this is a list of files um, that take that core piece of code that I typed and makes it, uh, you know, the point of this package's existence. You can download this as a zip, but um, that's what you can do uh, remotely on packagekitchen.meteor.com. It can write a zip file for you that you download. But if you want tighter integration, Package Kitchen actually exists uh, on Atmosphere as an installable package. And if you install this to your app, you can scaffold out uh, your package directly inside an application. So that's what the Schedule Thingy app is for. It's an app that we want to be able to call a ping function in, and so we're going to write a package in place in this application. And uh, that package will then be publishable on GitHub if we want to do it, but we won't take we won't show you all of that this session. We'll just show you creating the file structure um, so that it actually works. And then source control and getting a Meteor account, we'll leave that to you or for another episode. All right, so the first thing we have to do is in this same application, source genius schedule things, let's just start over here and say Meteor install genius package kitchen, which will install uh, no, it's not Meteor install, it's npm install, but it's Meteor add. I usually just edit a uh, particular file um, that I'll show you in a second. So, yeah, this is exactly that. And then our Meteor app reloaded. Let's look in the editor uh, what we're looking like. The packages file uh, has a diff. This shows me which files are changed by git. And the most recent package added is the package kitchen. And then this file also updates uh, to include that. That's just part of adding the package. And uh, yeah, that's a different change. So we won't, we won't go into that. So what we can do once we have this package installed, um, we'll know that it's running because we can go to slash kitchen. And that functionality of the website is available in the browser. And this is what I mean. Um, well, I've actually been testing this before. So some of this is written for me already. On Genius, I publish under Genius. On Atmosphere, I publish under Genius. On GitHub, Chicago Grooves, I'm going to name this a ping pong. What it will do for us is it will reply with pong when you call ping. So there's my ping, and I want to see pong. And here I'll figure it publishing out to that uh, demo site later. And then here's the code that it exports. So this is written for me, but it's obviously not available in the app yet because I haven't saved it uh, to the application. Let me show you what changes to look for when I save a package to an application. The .meteor packages file, every package that is consumed by this application gets a line in this file. So I don't know if you ever looked here when you were doing meteor add, meteor remove, but what's happening were lines were getting added and removed from this file. So installing a package means putting its name in this file, at a minimum. Now, for packages like Iron Router that you pull from a public repository, you won't have their source code living in your packages folder locally. But you do have a packages folder local to every Meteor app, whether it's empty or not, and packages that aren't necessarily published to any public repository are available locally to your application there. So when we define this ping pong package, we're not going to publish it right away, but we will save its file contents to the app, and the app will now reload. So what we have is a ping method that plays pong with us, and let's how, how did that magic happen? Well, exactly like I said, a new 
line Dinius ping pong. And yet the source for this is not on atmosphere yet. It's ready to be put on atmosphere at your leisure. But um, it just includes the uh, file structure that um, creates the functionality you see here. If I said pong and save that, Meteor is reactive. And this is a local package, so I don't need to publish it anywhere. When I came back to the browser, uh, and called ping, I'd get my new message. So this is how you kick off the local development of a package. Before you're ready for the first public commit, you use the Meteor Package Kitchen, create your source code, get to know this, look at the Meteor documentation um, for, for packaging. It's of course on docs.meteor.com and under package using packages, writing packages. All right, so pretty much we do a lot of the work for you, but if you really want to customize these, you'll have to look that up. All right, so that's been my Friday episode for uh, this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have fun working in the package kitchen.